Hi, and welcome to another episode of Picosan Practices. I'm Eric, and we're here to talk about chemical safety in the studio. The practice of metal smithing is full of super fun chemicals like acids and patinas that smell like farts, but these can be bad for your health, which is ultimately bad for your studio practice. Always make sure your chemicals are properly labeled and stored in appropriate containers. The first type of chemicals we're going to discuss are flammables. We all know the best part of working in the metal studio is the fire. But studio staples like denatured alcohol and acetone are highly flammable. So we need to never use those around an open flame and need to store them in their properly labeled containers. And by all means, never ever drink those chemicals. <coughs> Acids are also prevalent in the studio. Pickle, also known as sodium bisulfate, is used to clean metal. We might also find citric acid, copper sulfate, and creams used to etch glass. Some plating solutions contain cyanide. It's crazy. Again, make sure you use proper ventilation and neutralize them with baking soda. <laughs> Pouring these acids down the drain, a no-no. And do not drink any of these chemicals. I'm very thirsty. Various chemicals are used to patina or color metal. These may be acid, salts, or other compounds. Liver of sulfur is the most common. It's used to darken copper or silver. It's mostly harmless, but very stinky. Use in a well-ventilated area and wear gloves or else you will smell like rotten eggs. And of course, do not drink. Thank you for joining me for another session of Picosan Practices. I'm off to the emergency room. <laughs>